Greetings, minions. It is I, the Flaming Monocle, and I'm here once again with my very, very good friend, T-Dude. If you'd like to introduce Hello. yourself at any given point in the near future, that would be... There we go! Fantastic! I do apologize, there may be a little Sorry, bit of lag here lag. and there, because T-Dude is 650 miles away from me at this very point, for I'm in Germany, and uh, T-Dude is in merry old England. Um, I thought you were going to say, and T Dude's in prison. <laughs> T Dude's been cast aside into one of the deepest, darkest dungeons. Uh, no, T, uh, T Dude's in England and I'm in Germany. So, without further ado, shall we continue our foray into the 39 steps? Yes, or it is a good story. It is a different game this entirely, I do believe, because it's just one of those things that do obviously it's taking itself quite seriously and the dialogue's very good compared to Three Stars of Destiny where we have to make our own fun all of the way through the game. This thing, oh, that's mean. That's so mean. <laughs> well, whatever you, you do, though. <laughs> but in I, this I, game, I, it's yeah, a really tight story, obviously. Well, it's, uh, I guess, what you would call classic literary... Oh, it is. It's the most, it's the most literal sense, I suppose. Um... Right. Oh, well, anyway, we're on chapter three. Well, it's not chapter three, but it is like the third part of one of the several. So, uh, this one is called Deeper Into This Mess. So let's click oh. on it and press play. Dun, dun, dun. Deeper <gasps> Into This Mess. Yes, he's getting himself involved in something now. <laughs> Tuesday the 19th of May, 1914, in Wimpole Street, London. Who else was at Wimpole Street? Was that um, Henry Higgins? Possibly. Well, maybe. Yeah, I, I thought it was Pygmalion. I thought one of the characters lived on Wimpole Street. Showing my classic literary Down on the there. street where you live. <laughs> at least we know the name <laughs> of the, the street Where the devil now? are my slippers? Oh, indeed. Oh, a disappearing cart. <laughs> a clock without a second hand. A light that switches on by itself. Do not adjust your set. You're entering another dimension. <laughs> not of what of space. The thirty ninth dimension. <laughs> Black Adder. Breakfast for two, he said, getting out of his Breakfast for two and a brandy, please. <laughs> and, and a whiskey would be great right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I'm bored in English and it's 1919 or whatever. And, we, and that's all we do. Paddock, uh, character of Paddock. He had about as much gift of the gab as a hippopotamus and was not a great hand at valeting. But I knew I could count on his loyalty. Acquaintance? <laughs> Paddock was a fellow I had done a good turn... Uh, had done a good turn to out on the Salaqui. 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 From here anyway. it says Salami with a capital S, but all right. <laughs> I'd done a good turn to him out on the Salami, and I'd inspanned <laughs> him. Ooh. Gosh, I do need to learn some of these words. Do you want me to Would you like me to be the travelling dictionary? Yes, please. You've got a computer there. Inspanned, as in I N spanned. Inspanned. As in bridged. Yeah. I spanned him as my servant as soon as I got to England. I'll wait till you've looked that up, actually, because if I press... Did you say... Works. What was the context? You inspanned him with, with your service? Yes. Hmm. I pressed done. <laughs> Past tense, inspanned. Um, harness as an animal or animals. A farmer oh, inspanned yeah, his yeah, wagon. I mean, this is, yeah, like this is a servant, so I suppose that's... A really mean thing to do to another human being, but hey, it's nineteen it's, it's, something. It's nineteen nineteen, and we're English. We <laughs> we own I everyone. <laughs> I told Paddock a fine story about how my friend was a great swell. A great swell. Gosh, there's some really good references here. Oh. With his nerves pretty bad from overwork, who wanted absolute rest and stillness. Rotate. Oh, I've got the rotate down. Is it because you need to, to know, Yeah, nobody had got to know we was here. Or you'd be besieged by communications from the India office and the Prime Minister, and his cure would be ruined. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Oh, I get to click for things. There's four things to find. Oh, okay. And I'm bound to say Scudder played up splendidly when he came to breakfast. 
He fixed Paddock with his eyeglass, just like a British officer, asked him about the Boer War, and slung out at me a lot of stuff about his imaginary pals. Paddock couldn't learn to call me sir, but he served Scudder as if his life depended on it. I left him with the newspaper and a box of cigars and headed out to Alexandra Rake's uh, Park Race Course. Hmm, good for you. Yeah. Oh, maybe they're not four things to find. <laughs> There's four times. Maybe there's, maybe there's nothing when we I got back, <laughs> Well, this is true. When I got back, the lift man had an important face. Mm. Hey, you, excuse me, your face looks important. <laughs> because it looked like the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> looked just like the Queen. In fact, it may... Oh. oh, dear. Ooh. No. This is before DNA, so. And now they give me a mouse to work with, and I can only click one thing. What's the part? Duh. I didn't have to do a puzzle to get into the lift. I ascended to number 15 and found a couple of bobbies and an inspector busy making an examination. I asked a few idiotic questions, and they soon kicked me out. Oh. I attended the inquest the next day. The jury found it a case of suicide while of unsound mind. I suppose all that <laughs> liquor and... <laughs> so more whiskey, sir. I gave Scudder That's a full account of... That's how you get an unsound mind <laughs> is liquor. Lots of it. I gave Scudder a full account of the affair and it interested him greatly. He said he wished he could have attended for he reckoned it would have been about as spicy to read as one's own obituary notice. I suppose because it was obviously Ooh, let Scudder. let me look up spicy. <laughs> Not on Google. Spicy image search. <laughs> Scudder was very peaceful the first two days after he stayed with me. He read and smoked a bit and made a heap of jottings in a notebook. And every night we had a game of chess at which he beat me hollow. But on the third day, I could see he was beginning to get restless. <laughs> All that beating me hollow was starting to make my face hurt. <laughs> The problem with my jaw went away. <laughs> he fixed up a list of days and started making remarks against them. <laughs> he he had started Tuesday listening for crap. little noises and was always asking me if Paddock could be trusted. Once or twice he got very peevish and apologised for it. I didn't blame him. I made every allowance for he'd taken on a fairly stiff job. Yep. He's awfully yeah. forgiving, isn't he? <clears throat> yeah. Just went back a bit. That's right. Okay. Oh, check out them rain effects. And then, one night, he was very solemn. Okay. At least Next this is a book that you don't have to imagine a thing. Yeah. <laughs> An artist has done it for you. Uh -huh. Oh. Intrigue. He began to tell me in detail what I had only heard from him vaguely. I did not give him very close attention. The fact is, I was more interested in his own adventures than in his high politics. <laughs> the plot thickens. Black stone. <laughs> he talked about a black stone and a man that lisped in his speech, and he described very particularly somebody that he had never referred to without a shudder. An old man who could hood his eyes like a hawk. Hood his eyes, eh? Hmm. Like with a... No. No. Carolides. I reckoned that Carolides and his affairs were not my business. So that, so, so a lot of that scudder said slipped clean out of my memory. He was very clear that the danger to Carolides would not begin till he'd got to London, and would come from the very highest quarters, where there'd be no thought of suspicion. It's like a vocal exercise, this, isn't it? Oh, it's really interesting, because obviously it's very old-worldy English, but quite modern in the way it's presented, and uh, my brain's not keyed in to the sort of sentence structures, and so I'm a, bit, I'm a bit lax on this sort of stuff, so I'm going to try and perk it up a bit. Although that said, Julia Chechnya... 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 Julia Chechnya, that'll do. He mentioned the name of a woman called Julia, who had a last name, as having something to do with the danger. She'd be the decoy, I gathered, to get Carolides out of the care of his guards. 
Okay. Done. Die. Okay, so we've learned a little bit. He remained solemn for the rest of the evening and spoke a good deal about death. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. There's oh, this he's, tunnel. Is he, getting, is he flipping me off in that picture? Well, with a skeletal finger. <laughs> yeah, it's an alien finger. Mm. I'll be upset that if there isn't actually like a mini game where you have to listen to someone's story and play chess. <laughs> that would be quite cool. <laughs> oh, it's raining again outside. Don't That's spare on the effects budget. Well, this is like this is like interim art. This is in between yeah. the dialogue. It's like it's like they don't need to do it, but it's nice. The next day, he was much more cheerful and read the life of Stonewall Jackson much of the time, while the rest of London celebrated Empire Day. <laughs> I went out to dinner with a mining engineer whom I had to see on business, and came back in time for our game of chess before turning in. Oh. Into an owl, or into or an owl, an alcoholic. An owl. Ooh, I, I, yeah, that's awful. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, bad of it. Oh, you wait till I have to do this bloody mini game again. Flaming barnacle breaks into a sod door. <laughs> sod this. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten how to door. Oh, no, okay, fine. Uh, I'd love if you let go and it, the door just like broke into a million pieces, pieces. and yeah. said sod. Uh, uh, I couldn't get into my house. <laughs> Go, <Guardian> you Freeman. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's things to click on. Glowy things. Oh, I love these. these For those brilliant. viewers wondering what's going on, it's a... Uh, oh! <laughs> Mr. Honey, I love these. I heart Captain Digley reading in the smoking room with a fresh box of cigars. He was net interested in the Empire Dave celebration <laughs> that allowed me to, to Dave to... Yo, to see them. <laughs> I've acquired Dave. <laughs> I've acquired death egg death, death death mayo and bacon for tomorrow's breakfast <laughs> paddock. Oh, that's good. Death oh. mayo and bacon. This is good. I quite uh, Oh hang on, there's a show text button. Ah I, oh <laughs> not what? anymore, there isn't. What show was that? Push. It says show text. Was I that left a translation of Digby, the really letter? in the smoking room with the fresh Yes, I was just wondering. I should probably go back and read the other thing now. Oh, well. No, it's more yeah. fun if it was. Yeah, a, exactly. A, a Empire Digby. Dave with, egg, egg a, Empire with, Dave. A, with a problem. <laughs> with a bacon problem. Okay. No, the bacon wasn't a problem. It was the death, wasn't it? <laughs> Bacon's never a problem. Uh, oh. Oh, hang on. Is it going to make me turn on the switch? Oh, no. Oh, dear. In the soup. Achievement unlocked. Deeper into this mess. That's like mm. getting an achievement for quite completing a, a chapter in, <laughs> in a book. Well, we did, we, we achieved it. it it's yeah. been achieved. So that looks like um, the dude that was over at his house looks like he was on the bed with a dagger through him. By the seem the sounds of it. I mean, you know uh, the story, so I mean... Yeah, yeah, well... Um, this I is, mean, this is, who, this is kind of don't. interesting. Because <laughs> obviously, who don't uh, know, like I've, should... um, I, I only know the story. Um, just, 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 just to let everybody know, Thirty Nine Steps was written by uh, John Buchan, who, by the way, was Scottish, um, which might explain why the um, why why the main <laughs> character is is Scottish. But um, it was is published in 1915. Um, and uh, and it was a it was a book, but like obviously Didn't many many. Do a... A, vid uh, it was, a video, a film. <laughs> it was Hitchcock film in, in in 1935, so you know, yeah. like a good couple of decades afterwards. Um, but the thing is, is that um, is that there's. Um, I mean, I saw a play 
play version of it. Well, and there's one course, on the West End at the moment, so I mean, I'm quite keen yeah, on yeah, seeing yeah. it. Well, um, I think I told you in the first episode that I, the one I saw was that was a kind of a. It was good. It was it was a kind of a comedy-ish version of it, a bit like you know. Um, yeah. I guess maybe a bit like the comedy version of Casino Royale that was done. Sure. You know, it has passing. You know. Um, um, anyway, it's um, but but this is all new to me because it's um, because um, it's like, a different telling of it. Well, no, 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 because like there's obviously a considerable amount of things happening here in uh, um, like sort of um, in London. Like they're they're um, to me this is like an expanded version of the first couple of chapters. Of course, obviously, yeah, because they've got to cut uh, it down into two hours. Uh, yeah, you know. a play a play version. The play version that I saw was only an hour and a half, and this is the full deal. I haven't read the book, but I've read the play, uh, but I but I saw the play. So mm-hmm. this is kind of this is interesting to me. Like, there's a lot more murder and drinking going on. <laughs> there's a lot more English. A lot more al- I, you could tell it was written a by a Scottish alcohol. person. Because it's like, I had a scotch, and then I played some chess, and then I went to bed, and everyone was murdered. <laughs> so, well, and then, a- and then, I, then I listened to the policeman, and then I offered him some scotch, and then and we all had was some fun. more scotch. <laughs> and then I can't remember the next bit. Yeah. It was the 40 steps. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, that well, that particular um, chapter didn't take as long as the last couple by you know, a good five minutes or so. But uh, why don't we end this one here and go straight to the next one? What say you, T? Sounds you? good to me. Excellent. Sounds we'll good. see you in the next one. Uh, we'll see you the next time that we play the Thirty Nine Steps. We hope that'll be very soon indeed. Join us then. Thank you very much indeed. Ta-da! Ta-da!